Hey internet friends, welcome back to Project Garage. If you've ever owned or driven a classic vehicle, you've maybe spent hundreds if not thousands of hours designing and building your dream car. And then you go to start it up and the keys from these classic cars are these little piece of flimsy metal or cracking plastic that always bothered me with every classic car I've driven or owned that the first tangible visceral thing that you touch is this little sad piece of metal plastic. Well, Daniel Che, the founder of Formal Works, is working to change that experience. I don't want to spoil anything, but they're designing beautiful, bespoke, custom keys for some of the most iconic classic vehicles. And uh, they even offer services for custom design as well, which I'm trying to bribe him to do a custom key for Winston, my Safari 911 project. Anyway, let's get into this and talk to Daniel a little bit more about their process. All right, we're here with Daniel, the founder of Formal Works. We're gonna get into a little bit about the special aspects of making specialty keys for your classic love, beloved vehicle. Hey Daniel, how you doing? I'm doing great, Douglas. Um, so yeah, we're uh, Formal Works and we are a originally a design studio based in Irvine, California. And uh, we started just doing a lot of work for automotive OEMs, exterior, interior design. Um, we did a lot of uh, concept vehicles, production cars. So our forte is definitely in car design. And I think just through our own collection of vehicles, um, we decided to build keys really as a personal project of ours. Um, as designers, we uh, we like to touch everything that we can and and put our best effort into. Yeah, and so it's just a it's been a very interesting journey. But I am here now representing FormalWorks as a founder, and we make key pieces for luxury cars and vintage high value cars. Could you tell us a little bit about your background specifically? You said you're a designer. I actually don't know what your background is, so you know we'd love to learn more. Yeah, for sure. So I studied automotive design at Art Center College of Design. Oh. One of the, yeah, it's one of the few kind of core schools around the world uh, that pumps out the world's leading car designers. Oh, it's the um, finest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I wanted to go sure. there. I'm jealous. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's such a, it's a warm place in my heart. I always love to go back and see what the students are up to, but it's just cool because also, you know, on top of the automotive design education, just to be connected to a lot of the automotive greats that you see some of the most iconic cars out there. Um, there's a lot of alumni that have designed those cars and they visit all the time. So it's always so inspiring. And I think um, I took a quite a unique path um, halfway through school. Uh, that's about the time that the students will start to look for internships. And I decided, you know, I, I love cars. It's in my blood. I grew up in a garage. Um, it's always going to be there. So I'm going to take a break just for an, a term and see what happens. And okay. I actually uh, interned at Oakley, which is, uh, you know, the sunglass company um, here in Lake Forest. Yes. And um, I have to say, I, I think I fell in love with it. Um, and, you know, it, it's really because in product design, you're given a little bit more uh, reins and control as a designer, where you're not only um, creating an aesthetic or designing a form, but you're also solving problems, you're understanding the customer. It's, it's much less siloed than automotive design. And so... What ended up happening was I was very intellectually fulfilled and I, I just decided to take a job um, full time as a designer there before I even finished school. And by the time I got out of school, I was a senior designer. 
two years after wow. that, I was the design manager there, um, responsible for like three years worth of product. And um, it was massive fun, but I couldn't get away from cars. <laughs> sure. So, and, but you can kind of see how the path formed because working at Oakley, I understood product really well. I understood what it takes to build something from nothing. Um, and just the effort it takes to understand the whole manufacturing process and uh, quality control and just understanding what everyday use of an item really means. And so I took that knowledge um, and throughout that whole time, I had been running Forma as a design firm so I can kind of uh, quench my thirst for cars. And sure. so in that time, I'd been just moonlighting um, working on interior, exterior concepts uh, for automotive OEs. I pulled all of my close A-lister designer contacts together, and we just did that for fun. And somehow my understanding of the product world joined with my love for cars kind of naturally led me into, I want to put my best effort and everything that I've learned so far into something I believe in that keeps me connected to the cars that I love. Right. And so that's like kind of my background. I studied car design. I went into product design. I had fun. I actually had 15 offers out of school to all the major car companies, but decided to stick to product. And then now I'm like making my way, my way back over to cars. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to have you. And, uh, you know, it's interesting that you, so you started fully on product design and then you ended up with keys, so how do you, let's talk a little bit about your design process. So you designed keys for, I'm going off memory here, Defender Land Rover products, specifically like Defenders, uh, Porsches, which I'm really interested about. And I believe you have an NSX key, uh, an or original NSX key, is that, not mistaken? Is that right? What, which keys are you offering? And then could you tell us how you designed for each vehicle? Yeah, so I, I mean, I think even preceding that, um, we got into keys because they're really, I guess, what I would consider a love letter to your car. And I think that, you know, the way it even started was I had a G Series 930. Um, I was doing well at Oakley, got my first old 911. And, you know, I was just so proud of the car, just admiring it in the garage, driving it every day. But I just couldn't let go of this janky key that I came it's with. Awful. It's and awful. Yeah, it's it's god awful. And yeah. I'm like, man, it does not represent how much car there is here. And so that the keys themselves just started as a personal project. And of course, as a designer, I'm gonna care about every detail, the proportion the surfacing, the graphics, everything should have some poetic connection to that car. And I think the same way that you can liken um, like a, your wedding ring, for example. I mean, it's just a cylindrical piece of metal, but it symbolizes your love, right? It yeah. symbolizes your partner. And I think the key does the same thing. And I'm like, man, there's just something here. And I didn't even think about it as a business in the beginning. It was just totally personal fulfillment. <laughs> And so we started with the 911 key and then one of the designers in our circle, you know, he was looking into defenders and, you know, naturally I think we're going to appreciate the icons in the automotive world. And so it wasn't a, like a, Oh, let's build a, a business around this or, you know, let's make money from this. It was just, Hey, we like these cars a lot. Yeah. Let's put our best effort in towards creating a design that speaks to it. And there's a really beautiful, um, symbolic, aesthetic connection to these cars without just literally translating, like putting a matchbox to a, a key. You know, like we're, we're trying to shape and kind of capture the essence of that car in the keys. So moving into a uh, lineup. So we, we kind of decided at first based on all the cars that we personally owned, as I just explained. So yeah. 911, Defender, um, 
one of our designers up north got a an RX seven. Like all the OG Japanese cars starting to become sure. classics and greats from the bubble economy. So um, we kind of and we I think our recent uh, two were Land Cruiser. So the older FJ, not this guy, mm-hmm. and um, the uh, GTR because. One of our designers had had an R32 for like eight years. It had traveled with him when he was uh, designing in the UK and Germany and Japan. The car had all these stickers. It was sitting in this shop for like, you know, six months or something. We're like, let's do a key for that. So it that's how it was like not so structured in the beginning. Um, And this is what we call our legends line. And what we're moving into now is uh, what we're going to call our era line. And it's something that we've been working on for pretty much this entire year. And the thing that I've come to realize doing this is I think we're touching upon a, just really a piece of functional jewelry. Um, like it, it really means something to people. And just because you don't have one of the iconic greats the classics it doesn't mean you don't like cars you know like that and that's why automotive culture exists that's why there's communities and meets and you know magazines like road and track because people just love cars and it could be for sentimental reasons it's a vessel for your experiences you can appreciate your 30 year old rabbit because it was passed down by the grandma you love you know so cars are just this kind of uh universal binding element to me and that's why with our era keys we developed the whole made to order manufacturing system on our cnc back here so that we can now start to offer keys for any car as well as multiple designs based on eras of vehicles um design philosophies like yeah so like the bajas dtm era or like the jdm era and we'll we'll start to try and like capture holistic elements of those so that's kind of where we're heading we've got like one side of it that's our tuxedos perfectly tailored for your iconic air-cooled 911 but also our era line which is hey these are philosophical design elements of all of these eras of cars you get to pick and you tell us what you have we'll build it for you and that's kind of what's happening now so uh to wrap this up what What's next for you guys? I like guess you're, I know you're launching a new site, but for 2022, what's really next for, for formal works? So for 2022, um, we have been actually in talks with several OE manufacturers. Um, we're not, you know, we're not an aftermarket shop, just, uh, making pieces and parts to make a buck. You know, we really believe in what we're doing. And I believe that due to that we're attracting all of the major oe manufacturers major resto mod guys like we're working on mclaren f1s behind the scene you know so i think what's coming in 2022 is going to be a lineup of really cool bespoke keys for the huge you know heavy hitters mclaren f1s f40s And we're going to put our designer's eye to it and do our best to give it something um, that gives justice to these cars. Um, In terms of era, as I mentioned before, we're going to be launching keys and designs that everybody can, uh, can get for their own cars and pick their own designs from. So that's a whole nother collection. And then we'll continue to expand on our Legends line with current icons but we'll also be going into transponders modern key fobs um we're recasing uh a fob with 3d printed components metal titanium components and machine titanium for a certain uh, swedish manufacturer so a lot of amazing yeah Yeah. a a lot of fun stuff for 2022 i think um we really believe in this. And I think I, I believe in the value of the key. It's something that's been around for thousands of years. It's one of the few things that have test, you know, lasted against the test of time. And it's, it's individual to you, you know, like the key has cuts that are individual to you and eventually it's fobs. And 
I'm sure it'll go on to phones at some point, but there's still plenty of cars today that will be classics 30 years down the road. So lots coming for 2022. Everybody should check out your website, order your keys. Uh, things are selling out, as I see, pretty fast. So, uh, and, and yeah, I sell out pretty fast. <laughs> So, but thank you again for your, taking your time on a busy day. I know you guys have been super slammed and you guys make sure to, to follow Formal Works on Instagram, social media, and definitely check out their website. Thanks, Daniel. And we'll talk soon. Thank you, Douglas. All right. So I just got this package from Formal Works and this is my custom key for my Safari 911 build. Project Winston. So this is something that we designed together. I had some input into it, but I'm super excited. I've not seen it in person and super thankful to Daniel over at Formworks. And here it is. Ooh, it's heavy. It's actually like surprisingly more heavy than I thought it would be. And it is beautiful. My car is going to be Nardo gray. So this matches it perfectly and you can't tell here, but it has a little Winston logo on it. That's beautiful though. Oh man, just gotta get it cut.